sled looks a little tiny for me. <laughs> It's time! Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. It is officially the holiday season, so you know what that means. It's time for me to get ready for Christmas and get all into the Christmas spirit. Christmas is definitely one of my favorite times of the year, if not my favorite time of year, because I feel like it's kind of like my Super Bowl. I love holidays, decorating, dressing up, having a theme, hosting parties for birthdays, for just because, for all types of occasions. But Christmas is something special about Christmas. The decor, the themes, the party. Christmas time is just really that time where my creativity and also my newfound love for hosting and throwing parties can all come together and really shine. I always like to do a different fun theme for Christmas every year. So I transform the outside of my house, the inside of my house, and I always do a big annual Christmas party that also kind of goes with the theme. Past themes I've done are like an all white snowy winter wonderland vibe. I've also done candy cane peppermint lane. And then a big crowd favorite was when I did the gingerbread theme where I kind of had like all candy and sweets. And then last year I did an all pink everything theme because my favorite color is pink and my daughter Zaya's favorite color is also pink. So we just had to do it. And for the Christmas party, pink is not really enough of a theme for a party. So the party was actually a pajama party. But of course, most of the pajamas were pink. That pajama party was lit. I think that was the best Christmas party I have had by far. I got everyone matching satin pajamas. We had Santa and Mrs. Claus. We had all sorts of different treats and goodies. We did a gingerbread house contest. It was just super fun. So now this year I'm trying to like top that. Not only was I trying to think of a new and unique and fun theme to do for all of my decor and the party, but I'm also trying to think how I can make the party itself super fun and super just like over the top and better than last year. So this year's theme is is Ski Lodge. Let me explain. Imagine you go to a snowy mountain location where you can ski and they have a ski resort. So, you know, imagine a beautiful, cozy ski lodge. It's kind of like cozy cabin vibes, a lot of wood, a lot of plaid. Of course, there's snow everywhere. You're in a snowy location. And of course, all things skiing. So you have skis and ski poles, but maybe also ice skates and snowboards, snowmobiles, sleds. If you were to be at a ski lodge, you might drink a lot of hot chocolate, you might sit around the fire. You would have your cozy sweaters, your beanies, your goggles. I want it to feel like you just walked into a ski lodge when you walk into my home. And I have gone skiing a few times in my life, so I do have some real life experience to pull from, but not much. And on top of that, this theme is not super common for Christmas. I've definitely seen you know, people have done it before. I looked it up on Pinterest, that's what I always do. And I was able to find a few inspo pics, but not a whole bunch. This theme is kind of specific, kind of niche, and just not one of the like classic themes that people are doing for Christmas. So this is definitely gonna be a challenge to pull off, not only just the decor around my house, but the party. My Christmas parties have gotten bigger and bigger every year, and it's something that I think everyone is now looking forward to, so I really gotta come through. At the beginning of this year, I hired my new personal assistant Zoe and more recently I hired my intern Michaela and with their added help I feel like I have been able to do so much more when it comes to these types of projects. All right Miss Raven the Christmas season is upon us. Um, so I know you do your annual Christmas party. Um, have you do you have any thoughts about what to do for this year? I wanna do Ski Lodge. Ski Lodge is my vision for the year, for the decorations, for the party, for everything Christmas. But I know that that's sort of like a niche concept. It's like, it feels very niche and very vague at the same time. It's, it's like I can see it in my head. I've started a Pinterest board that I'm gonna send you so you can okay. see what I mean by Ski Lodge. But essentially it's sort of a play on when I did Raven's Resort for my 29th birthday party and it was like a beach resort. And so I transformed my home into a resort. So I kind of want to do, you know, Raven's Resort part two, but it's winter, so it's ski lodge themed for Christmas. Yeah. The details are a little bit foggy, but I know some of the main stuff. I really want an ice sculpture. I've always wanted to have an ice sculpture okay. at a party. <laughs> Because the idea is like you walk into my house, I want you to feel like you, you came into a luxury ski resort. 
and they're having, like if a luxury ski resort was having a Christmas party in their lobby, I feel like they would have a nice sculpture. It's very like luxurious and over the top. And I think coming off of your 30th birthday party, you know, that's going to be a pretty hard party to beat. Yeah. So let's at least get the damn ice sculpture. Ice sculpture. And then my other big thing is like, it's ski resort. There has to be snow. And I feel like some kind of way we can make it snow. In the house, outside the house. I would love it to be actual snow that you can like play in. Because this is a family friendly party. It's going to have a lot of kids. Right. So like as a kid's activity, have there be some sort of snowy pit, snow something that they can like play in or a snow activity? Uh, we're gonna have to call God about that one. Well, I saw James Charles rent a snow, like it's like a big truck that actually takes ice and shape. Like it's basically a giant shaved ice machine that yes. shoots shaved ice into the sky. And so it's like snowing. That is absolutely insane. That has to be like God off me. It was, it was like, he spent like $20,000 on it or something. Yeah. So like, I'm not trying to do that, but like something like, can we do a small version of that? Like, can, can you get a small? Can we just get a lot of snow cone machines? And maybe that will be I fun. have a shaved ice machine. We can just start early. <laughs> start two days. Two <laughs> yeah, days do before. two days worth of shaved <laughs> ice. Like the ice will be good. Yeah. Those are kind of like my main two like must have things that I really want at the party. As far as like the decor and everything, like I see a lot of greenery, a lot of snow, snowflakes, wood. Then what makes this different from just Christmas? <laughs> I mean, it is Christmas and I want it to look like Christmas, but what makes it different is that it's specifically ski lodge. So like skis, ice skates, boots, those snow those old fashioned things that look like tennis rackets, oh, snowshoes, yeah. stuff like that that's like a sled. There's also this whole concept that I learned about called après ski. It's a French term and I'm probably pronouncing it horribly, but it's A-P-R-E-S ski. And basically what it means is like after skiing, it's the stuff you do when you get done skiing for the day. So this is already kind of an existing party theme or like get together theme that people do because people who actually go skiing, this is what they do. They have hot chocolate, they have music, they go ice skating, they kind of have this like after party. It's like an after skiing after party. And it's just like a known part of skiing culture. So essentially the theme for my decor is ski lodge and the theme for my party is après ski. So I feel like if we search that up, then that'll kind of give us some direction. Our biggest issue through planning this party is like how do we make it feel like a ski lodge and not just like this winter Christmas. It's all in the details and I feel like it's going to be a lot of DIYs because I just already know there's not going to be a lot of store-bought stuff that is really specific to that theme. Like right. the winter Christmas stuff we can get from the store but the specific ski lodge stuff we're probably going to have to make which that's always kind of how it goes with my themes is like I want something really specific and I'm just going to have to make it myself. So mm -hmm. You know, DIY is just like we always do. And then maybe like sourcing some actual skiing stuff. Like maybe we can thrift, mm -hmm. like thrift, but we, do, we, don't live, we don't live in a ski town <laughs> is the problem. That's true. So I don't know how much stuff there's going to be like at our local thrift stores, but maybe like online. I'm definitely a big fan of Facebook Marketplace. You can find some pretty crazy stuff on there. Oh, and one other thing that I saw on Pinterest when I was like looking up this theme, I saw where it was at some actual like big corporate event, but for their photo op at the party, they had a ski lift. It's really just like a wooden bench with some metal poles. And I feel like that's DIYable. Let's just go ahead and start getting your house a little Christmassy, Christmas vibe. Um, let's get those big trees up, um, pull everything out of storage, see what we've got, see what we have to work with, and then take it from there. Zoe is honestly a jack of all trades, a Jill of all trades, if you will. She's good when it comes to planning, corresponding, keeping up with emails, researching, doing hands-on projects, sanding, painting, building. So hopefully with her help, I can bring this whole vision together and not be too stressed out because I still also want to enjoy my holiday season.
With all of the parties I've been hosting and all of my holiday decor, DIY props and everything, I have accumulated quite a bit of stuff and I definitely outgrew my garage. We got Halloween, Christmas, Easter, birthday, every theme of every party that I've done in between. So I had to get a storage unit to be able to hold it all. Okay, this is my first time seeing the storage unit. I have no idea how my brother even put this stuff in here or how <laughs> big it is or anything. Oh. We have so much room. Oh, so much room for activities. We can either unload the Halloween stuff into the street first or I can take the Christmas stuff out that I want first and put it out the way. Let's take the stuff out first, I think. So I have all this gingerbread stuff that goes on the outside of my house to like transform my house into a gingerbread house. I've done that the past two years and I was gonna do it again this year and like add more stuff to it. And so it would just be like a separate thing. Like the outside of the house is gingerbread house, but then when you walk in, it's the ski lodge. But that's a big, it's a big difference. Difference and it doesn't really flow or make sense. Plus that's a lot of work to do the gingerbread theme outside and do the ski lodge theme inside. We're already in the middle of November. We're running behind. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do the gingerbread stuff outside. So I think we're just gonna skip that this year. I do think I wanna come back to it next year. Yeah. Like revisit that whole theme. But for now, I guess let's just leave all the gingerbread stuff in here cause I'm not gonna use it. We're packing up all of my Halloween decor, skipping straight through Thanksgiving because I do not decorate for Thanksgiving because I don't like Thanksgiving. <laughs> I just think it's kind of a boring holiday and the decor is boring and just, I don't know. I would rather just go straight from Halloween to Christmas. Now that I have this storage unit, I can put my Halloween stuff in the unit and take the Christmas stuff out. So I don't wanna repaint him to match the theme because I like him pink. I can maybe get another one and make him go with our like ski lodge theme. Mm -hmm. And then since he's pink, we could put him upstairs in the playroom for Zaya. And I think Zaya would love to have it. Would she? <laughs> really? I can't remember if she was like scared of it or not, but okay. Yeah. So we're, we're bringing him. This is my big main Christmas tree that goes in the living room. So we definitely need to bring this. Um, this is where we may have underestimated our strengths. What's PJ doing right now? <laughs> he, you know he don't answer the phone. <laughs> yeah, this is heavy to lift up into your truck. Well, here's what I do when I, when I move furniture and now to my truck. Scoot, 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 but there's a lifting. There's a lifting. But we got, we got hammies and glutes, and we lift with our legs and then push it in. That's what I do with furniture. It's opening! It's opening! <laughs> it wasn't taped. Oh. We have string. Let me go get it. She learns the most interesting vocab words from you. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, the other day when she was like, what's child labor? Yeah. And I was explaining to her how her mom, <laughs> well, you actually, do child labor. You do child labor. You do child labor. And she was like, I work, I don't do taxes. <laughs> oh, she's hilarious. The fact that I can't see you behind this box is <laughs> My collected categories over the years are gingerbread, pink, white, red, gold, like plain red, but then also peppermint stripe red. So what I need are the white, greenery, and plain red stuff. But I guess I also need the pink stuff if we're gonna put that in the playroom. So pink, white, plain red, and all the greenery. Only thing we're not bringing is like the candy land and peppermint stripe stuff. It is somewhat categorized, but also some of the, like this is just soft stuff of all themes. And I mean, we can bring it and we, we could also go through it real quick and see what we want to bring and if it's worth, worth downsizing. Okay. This is a for sure no, cause this is just all peppermint. This is obviously a no. This is Christmas dress up. Ooh. So. Yes. That's a yes, I guess.
barely, and I mean barely, were able to fit all the Christmas stuff into Zoe's truck and into my car. We filled up both of our cars. And I didn't even bring everything. I left all of my like gingerbread stuff and anything that didn't really go with this year's theme, I left it in the unit. And even though we didn't take everything, it was still two whole cars worth. And I know this is a lot of stuff, but this isn't gonna be all. This is just like the stuff I already own that I'm gonna start with as a base layer, but I'm gonna have to make and buy a lot more stuff to actually go with this year's theme. One thing about Zoe, she knows her way around Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> That's like her favorite thing. She's always talking about finding things on Facebook Marketplace. And she's right, it is a really good way to find some like random, unique secondhand items. In our meeting, we talked about maybe being able to find some secondhand, like actual real skis or anything ski lodge related. But I was like, how much stuff are we gonna find? Because I live in Austin, Texas. So this isn't really like a winter sports type of city, so I wasn't sure like how many people own and are trying to get rid of that type of stuff. But lo and behold, within just one day of looking around, Zoe found someone who lived really close to me who was getting rid of four pairs of actual vintage skis. And we snagged them for really cheap. Zoe said when she went to go pick up this stuff, it was just like some older man who had a whole back shed full of just interesting treasures. <laughs> skis were quite dirty when she brought them home, but but it's nothing that a little, you know, scrub down can't fix. And we're gonna be using these for DIY projects, so we will probably end up like repainting them fully anyway. But these are gonna be a major key for my decor because actually having real skis, that's just perfect. I'm super excited to get creative with these and like make different decor pieces with them and kind of set them up differently around my house. Along with the skis, Zoe also found this really cute little handmade bench on Facebook Marketplace. Once again, it was just some guy who was trying to get rid of it. He actually made this bench himself, like he built it. And this is going to be perfect for our DIY ski lift chair situation. And going off of the inspo that's more like a bench with the poles on top, like more of kind of like the old fashioned type of ski lift chair. I felt like if we could just get the right kind of bench, we could definitely DIY the whole rest of the setup. And I think this bench that Zoe found on Facebook Marketplace is gonna be the perfect thing. So as far as transforming my house into a ski lodge, first things first, I gotta start off with my like main base layer of decor. You know, just setting up my main stuff that I already have. And then I can kind of go from there and see what I wanna add. Okay, quick little shopping haul, trying to get a few things to really bring this specific theme to life. I'm definitely gonna have to do a lot more shopping, but I was already out for another reason and I just so happened to see some things that really went with the theme. I got a bunch of stuff from Target. I got all of this gingerbread themed stuff, which is not the theme this year, but I think we are gonna do a gingerbread station at the party, so there might be some use for these little like gingerbread men containers, Christmas tree containers. I mean, this kind of goes with the theme. I saw so much gingerbread stuff while I was out, which is so annoying because I did the gingerbread theme previous years, but I'm not doing it this year. And when I was doing it, I couldn't find the stuff in the store that I wanted. But now they wanna have all the stuff for the theme that I'm not doing this year. So even if I don't use it this year, I think I wanna recycle and do the gingerbread theme next year because now they have so much stuff for it. I feel like I have to do it again. They have these little plates, these little plates, and then this tray, which I thought was really cute. Oh, this was like $5 at Target. This was, I think, $3 for these little plates. For this year, I found 
these for a dollar at Target, these little red glass trees. And then I found these little ski shot DIY kits, which I was like super surprised to see that Target has these because we definitely are gonna be doing a ski shot DIY with the vintage skis that we bought. Basically, this is just a set of shot glasses and a little sticky tabs. So it's not much of a kit, honestly, but I got it because it was convenient. Then the last few items that I got from Target are this big pillow, because this is the color scheme, as well as the matching throw blanket that goes with that pillow. And then also this decorative pillow, because I really like this sort of, kind of like European, Scandinavian, this, I don't know what you call this exactly that sort of like stitched snowflake pattern, but that's kind of part of the theme too. So I got that. So that's kind of my starting point. This is like what I'm basing my color scheme and my patterns and everything off of. I definitely need to get more stuff, but I just kind of wanted to start with that and start with what I already have. Start putting it in place, see how it's looking, see what's missing, and then we could go shopping and get more stuff. For all of my Christmas decor, no matter what theme I'm doing, I pretty much always start with like just my base stuff. So that's obviously my main Christmas tree, which is this 12 foot pre-lit pre-flock tree that I've had since my first ever Christmas in this house. So this is set up. Obviously I just need to decorate it with the theme in mind. I have some white ornaments and some red ornaments for starters. I'm definitely gonna have to get some more stuff to add to it. And then I also have these four little skinny pencil trees, which are also pre-lit and flocked. So I just have them grouped up right here for now. I think I'm gonna end up moving them and using them elsewhere around the house. We'll figure that out later. Then I have my little collection of little kind of like mini trees and bottle brush trees. I have a few just like green and white ones that'll definitely work with the theme. I did buy a lot of pink ones last year that obviously don't match, but I think I'm gonna use all of my pink stuff upstairs to decorate the playroom for Zaya. So we'll still get some use out of this stuff. My gold ones, I'm not sure yet. I feel like gold still goes good with like the ski lodge vibe. I don't know if that's too glam or if it's like good to mix in. So we'll see. So we'll probably end up using all of those. I have like just like general greenery, little sticks and branches and twigs and logs and stuff, which I can definitely use for this theme. And then there's also this tree, which I think is like a six foot tree. It's pre-flocked, pre-lit. I usually always put it on this table and of course put ornaments that match the theme, but I think we're going to end up having a different setup in this area. So I don't know if I'm going to do it like this this year. And I also want Zaya to have a tree upstairs in the playroom this year. So I'm trying to decide if I want to move this tree upstairs. So we'll have to see about that, but I have this to start with. And then my other main base layer thing is all of my flocked garland that I like to put going all on the stair railing. So I have multiple pieces of these long strips of garland and I normally like zip tie them on and then also wrap Christmas lights cause they don't have lights on it. But I'll go back and put lights around it and then also add extra decorations to it probably. It's literally snowing in here. Might as well just leave it. It's part of the theme. As soon as you sweep it up, more is gonna shed. 
So this year I'm expanding the decor to be in more areas of the home. I never have done my office or really anything upstairs besides the banisters. Like I never did the playroom or Zaya's room or anything. But since we're doing a different configuration, we have some different DIY projects, some different special decor, there's gonna be something else that takes up this spot. So I think I'm actually going to move this tree if I can easily move it all together. And this tree will go in my office. I'm thinking to make space for it and then I do need to like kind of clean up and of course make it cute in here. But if I move this, thinking about putting it in this corner, I'll probably have to play around with it and see. I feel like it fits good enough in here. Then I have all of these ornaments, which were from last year when I did the all pink everything theme. Obviously my office is pretty pink, so this would match nicely. Like I have, it's like the perfect color. These, these, and then I have, it was a lot of like glam, sparkly, glittery ones too, which kind of just matches the vibes in here. So I'm gonna decorate with these ornaments. So here's kind of a good look at what we've got so far since I already had red, white, and like some of this like pine cone type stuff. But I definitely wanna to add to it to just sort of like bring the theme more to life. Like this is a starting point, but it needs to scream ski lodge a little bit more. So I have to go and see what I can find to add to it. And then I'm looking at the other stuff that I have and I'm like trying to decide like, is it ski lodge or not? Polar bears, it feels snowy. It feels like it kind of goes with the theme, but when you think about it, it doesn't because you don't have have polar bears at a ski lodge <laughs> unless you're going to a ski lodge in like Antarctica or wherever polar bears live but if it was like a brown bear or a black bear I feel like that would go but polar, polar bears don't really go versus like this little bird <laughs> even though he's kind of silly he's wearing his his snow skiing outfit you know so I feel like because of his outfit he does kind of go with the theme so maybe I will put him out down here I don't know that's how I'm like thinking about everything like would this be at a ski resort or not does this animal live in Colorado you know that's kind of the deciding factor but I only have you know certain things that really go with the theme so that's why we definitely have to go shopping and get more stuff now that I've got a few things in place it's definitely time to do some serious shopping because I don't have enough stuff that actually screams ski lodge. I'm a little worried that I'm not gonna be able to find much because I've been kind of scoping out the stores. Every time I happen to be out buying things for other reasons, I of course go down the Christmas aisles and see if I see anything and I haven't been seeing much. But I was thinking maybe it was just too early in the season. This was like way early in November. So hopefully now they have more stuff. I found, I was looking for my little creatures and I found them. <laughs> I forgot I put them in here whenever we were picking up everything from the storage unit there was no more space in the car so I put them in here and I knew I was gonna forget them in here my little birds and owls I feel like they go with the theme so I definitely have to remember to take those out I always like to match my gift wrap to the theme as well so all the presents under the tree look good with it too so like this would be good maybe even like these snowflake to add to my collection. These little antlers. Maybe I'll get like a few. Mini ornaments for my mini trees. This matches. These are cute. The lanterns are cute. The snowflakes for sure. Wooden trees. This for sure. This super matches. I'm gonna get two of these. This is the theme for sure, skiing, it's green and red. It's like ugly though. 
<laughs> it's like cute, ugly. I don't know how I feel about it. Then they have a matching tree skirt. Then there's this plaid one. Maybe a mixture. One for me, one for Zaya, and then we usually get like a small one for Bougie. This one might be perfect to put in the playroom. It's only $35. Oh, it's not lit. There's no lights on it. I love flock trees. All my trees so far are flock. This is a good size, but it doesn't have lights. But I do have a string of pink lights that I could put on it. But I do prefer pre-lit trees so you don't have to put the lights on. try to DIY my own somehow. How is he's, he's got a, um, a sled and a beanie on. That sled looks a little tiny for me. <laughs> Maybe he's bringing it to a child. I always get the matching duo when I get stuff like this because it's like me and Zaya. This is a sled or something. <laughs> it's something snowy ski lodgy, right? I think I should get this. It's a it's a good big statement piece that communicates the theme. Cluster technique for these. So I'm gonna take three different types of ornaments and group them together using a piece of floral wire. So just string them on. You can use pipe cleaners, wire, maybe even just straighten out a regular ornament hook. from those three places. As you can see, I found a good amount of stuff, but we all know that this will not be the end of it. But I am gonna put all this stuff in place now and see how it's looking. My main concern is, did I find the right things to really make it look ski lodge up in here? Like, is it gonna look Christmassy? Of course. Is it gonna look wintry? Yes. Are we gonna see the snow vibes? Yes, but are we gonna get the ski lodge feeling? Are we gonna, when a, when a 
person walks in here who didn't know what my theme was, are they going to know that I got these because it's supposed to be a ski lodge? <laughs> like, is any of it going to make sense? Like, does this plus this plus this equal ski lodge or does it just equal Christmas? You know what I mean? The unfortunate thing is that obviously the main thing that would communicate ski lodge is skis, but out of everything, this was the only item I found that actually had skis on it. And I kind of hate it. Like it's kind of ugly, but it's the right color scheme and it has skis on it, so I got it. But I couldn't find anything else that actually had skis. I found an ice skate, a singular ice skate. <laughs> but other than that, no skis, no snowboard, no nothing. So that's where I'm struggling. So all my little mini ornaments that I got from Walmart, I divided them up equally into two equal piles because I have two of these mini trees. If you know, you know, I've had these for years. I don't even know where they're from. I wanna say home goods or something like that, but they're like the perfect scale for those mini ornaments. So I think I'm gonna keep one there with the kitchen decor. And then I have the other matching one over here in the entryway. I've made a good amount of progress here with this little vignette with this table. I switched out my greenery for some little frosted greenery that looks kind of icy and then pine cones. I got my golden nutcracker reindeers here, the mini tree. This was in the bathroom and I brought it out here, put a blanket on it. These baskets were in Zion's playroom, but we got rid of them, took them out of there when we did the playroom makeover. And I decided to just repurpose them here for now because so I feel like they kind of go with the vibe. I put blankets in this one and I actually went in my closet and got my actual winter boots out and put boots in this one just to kind of set the tone, set the vibe, you know, ski lodge, winter, you know, you're coming inside, you're taking your boots off, you know, I'm trying to make it look realistic. ordered a few things on Amazon that are starting to come in slowly now. I got this metal ski patrol sign. I just, you know, looking for stuff that was really specific to the theme. I think I might sit that out. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna put it actually. And then I got these little ski ornaments. I was hoping they would be a little bit bigger. They're pretty tiny and they literally look like two popsicle sticks glued together with some string. Could I have made these myself? Probably, but it would have been tedious work. And I have a lot of other DIYs that I'm gonna be doing. So mixing in some store-bought items is gonna save me some time. These are cute though. Definitely on a theme and match the color scheme. This is what the big tree is looking like right now. Kind of got a little base layer of red, white, and pine cones, I guess. It's starting to kind of come together, but I still have to add all of my specialty novelty ornaments that I have here. And I still actually have a bunch of red and white ornaments. So I went and got some pipe cleaners. That way I could do the little ornament cluster trick. So just like I did for my pink tree, except I feel like it's gonna be easier to just do it with pipe cleaners. I didn't have any at first, but I think this works works a little bit better than the wire. And I actually think I'm just gonna leave the regular ornament hooks on there because I don't think you'll be able to tell and then they'll just be there for next time if I wanna hang them separate. Keeping up with the little ornament hooks can be so annoying. So yeah, they just kind of hang to the back, twist the pipe cleaner so everything stays together like that. Show the pipe cleaner in there and like twist the pipe cleaner around the branches to kind of hold it shove it in, arrange it so it clusters nicely, boom.
All right, y'all. So after about a week of working on it, here is the progress check of my Christmas decor. Just a quick overview because I'm definitely not finished at all whatsoever, but just kind of wanted to show y'all what the vibes are looking like so far. I got all my little mini ornaments from Walmart on my mini trees, blankets, boots. So that's kind of what this little vignette is looking like. Swinging over to my office actually, I am really liking how the tree looks in here. It's super fun to actually have my office decorated for Christmas for once. Since I spend so much time in here, it's just nice to have the festive vibes. And I had a lot of pink ornaments because I did my 12 foot tree all pink last year. So I had enough for a 12 foot tree and this is only like a six foot tree. So I was able to fill it out really nicely. My little pink tree skirt. I set this little station up over here just because. And this is pretty silly, but I just didn't know what else to do with it. I also finally ordered a curtain rod and some curtains to go on this window in here because this window and this wall has been bothering me for a while. And now that I've got it as like a focal point with the Christmas tree, it was bothering me even more. So I definitely wanna put those curtains up soon so it just looks more finished. Then of course we got the garland and the lights on the stairs and everything, which is just looking a little bit plain. I have to figure out what I can add to it. This whole section is just in shambles, not even set up at all, but eventually there will be a whole ski lift chair photo op, making you feel like you're really at a ski lodge, hopefully cool situation set up right there. So I'm kind of just leaving it alone for now because I know I'm gonna do the ski lift chair. A lot of stuff that I've been ordering from Amazon is starting to come in, so I'll have to figure out what to do with that. And then I still have all of my wreaths in there. There. I have a few wreaths. I have like one really big one that's as big as that whole thing. And then a few smaller ones in there that I haven't even pulled out yet. And here is what the main tree is looking like. I think it's looking pretty good. It's just not looking ski enough for me yet. We got the snowflakes. We got the little woodland creatures. We've got the pine cones and like wooden elements to make it feel like cozy cabin. And we've got a few tiny, tiny little skis, but that's it. So I feel like I need some bigger skis or something on there. I mean, it is pretty full already, but you could always fit more. Over here is just looking like this because it's not done at all. And then we have my little couch area, which I went ahead and styled the pillows, the blankets and the coffee table. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this like this. I kind of just did that for now. I may end up using this table runner elsewhere, but I guess this kind of works for now. Just trying to have like those little pops of green and red, but not like too much. Then over here, I have this whole little table set up, which like is fine. But again, I feel like it just isn't ski enough. <laughs> But this table is gonna be set up completely differently for the party. So I'm kind of not too worried about it for now. And then I have the whole kitchen and dining area, which is not decorated at all. It's actually just a huge mess. So here's my real life messiness for you guys, the dishes and Zaya's craft stuff and all. I just have a few things sitting here that I think I'm gonna use in my kitchen and just like some extra supplies that I've been accumulating, but I'm just like not sure yet. I've got this stuff sitting over here because I definitely want to decorate like this whole back area. If you saw what I did for Halloween, I had a lot of little tchotchkes sitting along this um, kind of whole countertop area. And then I normally like to also decorate my dining table area as well. This is not looking Christmassy at all. If anything, it's looking tropical <laughs> with my plants and stuff. So I have to figure out what I can add in here. So definitely have a long ways to go with like adding more stuff like this and just finishing out the house in general. Plus I really want to decorate the playroom upstairs and we haven't started on that at all. And I bought this stuff so I could try to like make my windows look frosty. This is the spray on snow and this is the ice crystals. I've used the spray on snow before, but I only sprayed it onto my trees. I didn't spray it onto my windows. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. 
and I've never used this spray on ice crystal stuff at all. But I feel like if it works, it could give a really cool effect to make it feel like we're actually in a snowy location. This is definitely a start, you know? I was able to find some good stuff in the stores. I was able to work with a lot of the stuff that I already had and recycle it from previous years. But I still feel like I'm missing some key accent pieces that are really going to make it feel like a ski lodge in here. I feel like right now it feels Christmassy. It feels kind of like that classic, traditional, cozy Christmas vibe. Maybe it's kind of giving like cabin, cozy cabin vibes, but I feel like the ski part, like the specific part about it being a ski lodge, not just any old cabin, it's a ski lodge. I feel like that part is not fully coming through yet. So as usual, I am planning to really tie everything together with DIY projects. When you can't find something in stores, when it's not trending yet and they're not making it and selling it in stores, what do I do? I make it myself. Just like when I was doing the gingerbread and Candyland stuff a little too early, I think that's kind of the same case here. I'm gonna end up making a lot of stuff myself to fit this theme and then I bet you next year I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and they're gonna have a whole aisle of ski lodge specific stuff. But that's okay, y'all know I love a good DIY project and it is gonna be a lot of work to be able to make everything to finish transforming the house and also the specific stuff for the party itself, but I'm sure we can figure it out like we always do.